Tonight, federal authorities have joined the hunt for a man who caused an Ebola scare on a metro bus in Lincoln Heights. Police say the man ripped off a surgical mask he was wearing and screamed that he had Ebola. KCAL 9's Rachel Kim is live at Union Station in downtown LA with the very latest on the details tonight. Rachel. Also tonight, Metro officials here say that bus driver is in good health. He's on leave right now as doctors continue to monitor him. Now, as federal and local authorities search for the man who made that threat, they're also sending a message to the public. If you pull a stunt like this, we're going after you. Tonight, one day after a man wearing a mask got on this Metro bus and told the driver, don't mess with me, I have Ebola, other riders are talking. I think it was just some guy that was scary and trying to scare people, but um, that doesn't stop me from riding the Metro. So I think people here, they, they try to make light of the situation, but it shouldn't be made fun of. LA County health officials believe it was a hoax, but law enforcement is investigating this as a possible terrorist threat because of the fear it caused. Sheriff's investigators and the FBI are now reviewing surveillance footage from cameras inside the bus to identify the male passenger. We asked Metro officials why the video has not been released. But right now the detectives at the Sheriff's Department feel that they want to keep this investigative pool uh, within themselves. Many also wonder why the unknown number of passengers on that bus were allowed to get off instead of being quarantined. We really can't hold 65 people, pa passengers, hostage on a bus until somebody comes out there and tests everybody and lets them go. Now, we tried asking the sheriff's department directly about the video, but they referred us back to Metro officials. Now, Metro officials say they will meet with county health officials and possibly CDC officials tomorrow to discuss how to handle Ebola threats in the future and establish a protocol. Reporting live tonight in downtown Los Angeles, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. Okay.